Hey everybody, just jumping on here real quick to remind you that, you know, while the season's changed and it's actually autumn now, um, where I live, still sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cool. We got to be prepared for whatever's happening with the weather. There's a lot of people that are thinking about health related things and how they can keep their immune system built up and how to get rid of unnecessary toxins and heavy metals within their body. Um, some natural things that people could consider would be things that you should be able to find in your cabinet at home. Uh, if you're able to eat whole foods, including fruits and vegetables, that's really great. Uh, I know that the price of food has gone up, but you know, do what you can with what you have. Um, and if you're able to get things through, um, some food giveaway or, or something else, then try to work with what you have the best that you can. But as far as other things that people can do for like getting rid of like some of those toxins and heavy metals and things in their body to help them feel better in their body to be able to do what it needs to do a lot better. Here's a few things, a handful of things. Coriander. Turmeric, ginkgo biloba, cinnamon, ginger, green tea. These are things that if you don't have them in your cupboard, then you could probably go to a grocery store or market or wherever and be able to get them pretty reasonably priced. Um, so some things to think about, you know, green tea, easy peasy. Turmeric, whenever I do my food videos and, and I'm preparing food, um, which happens on some of my social media sites, but not on other ones. I'm usually adding turmeric in there. And, you know, I talk about how it um, reduces the swelling in your joints and everything and the overall positive effect that it's had for me. Um, ginkgo biloba. It does what it does. And it's supposed to be good, you know, to help people that are struggling with, like, depression and things like that. Cinnamon is a, a heart-healthy, good thing to have. You can add it to your oatmeal. You can add it to your coffee. You can add it to your tea. You can add it to applesauce. You can do lots of things with it. Um, ginger, it's a great pick-me-up. You can use it when you're making juice and smoothies or whatever. Or you can... Um, just use it to, you know, when you're making a chicken or some sort of stir fry or other things. So there's lots of options for how you can use that. So very short, quick list. I hope that you find that helpful or give it a try. Green tea is like the easiest of everything probably because you can go to the dollar store and get green tea if you need to. You can grow the mint leaves in your yard, dry them out and pull the leaves off and create your own little tea bag or, or tea steeper so that you can be able to steep or diffuse the green tea. Um, and it's good for you and something to consider. Just throwing that out there today. I know I haven't been on in a while. Um, got a lot going on, but I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're preparing for whatever's coming up because we know stuff is coming up. Um, and be prepared for the winter because I think it's going to be um, a challenging one this year. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.